Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting uh, screencast. Uh, the problem reads, uh, determine the force in members K, J, K, D, C, D uh, of uh, the Pratt Trust. Uh, state if the members are in tension or compression. Uh, this problem is coming from uh, the Engineering Mechanics and Statics uh, textbook, 13th edition by R.C. Ibella. Right, for this particular problem, we'll be required to find the support reactions and after that we're going to section here, okay? And then we're going to have the left hand side and right hand side. Of course, we'll pick the left hand side and work with it, okay? So we have the support reactions there. We have AY, we have AX, and at the roller we have G, GY. Right. Then we have summation of moments about point A equal to zero. Um, sorry. So summation of moments about point A equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. Uh, we have a minus moment 20 by 2 minus 30 by 4 minus 40 by 6 then plus GY by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 by 2, 12, right, equal to 0. And then GY is just going to be equal to minus 20 by 2, minus 30 by 4, minus 40, uh, minus 40 by 6. Okay, and then divided by 12, right. So this is equal to 33.33 kilo newtons. Then we have summation of forces in the Y going up in our reference. So we have AY minus 20 minus 30 minus 40 plus GY equal to 0. We just calculated what GY is, so we can replace it. And once we do so, then we'll find our AY is just going to be equal to uh, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40, plus 33.33. So AY becomes equal to a 56.67 kilo newtons. Then we have summation of forces in the X direction. Okay, what do we have? We have AX just equal to zero kilo newtons. So let's make a section here. Okay, we have the left hand side and the right hand side. We are going to go with the left hand side because we'll start with taking moments about point D to find KJ. Once we find Kj, then we are going to sum up the other equations, summation of forces in the y and x to find Kd and Kc. But let's find theta, okay? Let's find theta. Theta will need it, right? We need this angle. If not, we can represent the angle just using the triangles, okay? So instead of theta, I can also just do this. I can say the run is 2, this is uh, the rise is 3, and this one there it is 2 squared plus 3 squared, that's 13, so that is root of 13 like so. Okay, that's the hypotenuse. Great. So I can use that to define my angle. Alright. 
So let's draw that. Let's draw that uh, portion. The left hand side. We said we're going to use uh, this one. All right. Um. So what do we have? Let's say we say like so. Okay, like so. This is fine. And then like this. And then I can uh, go further there by uh, one, two, okay, somewhere there. All right, and then here I'll have this connection, and then I'll have this connection, and then I'll have this, okay, then I'll have this member here like this. Mm hmm great so we are saying we've done a section up to here uh, we we'll section this up to there uh, but this uh, this portion here we can just dot it like so to continue so we have a here we have l we have k and then this point ends up to J. Okay, this point here is a D. Okay, then this point here is B, then this one is C. So we have a force here, which is a 20 kilonewtons. We have a reaction force here, which is, we didn't indicate it AY, we said AY is uh, 56.67. Then this one is 33.33, then this one is zero. Um, here we have uh, another force, applied force of 30 kilonewtons. Uh, of course, at D, we do have this, but it will not be part of our section. Our section goes through that point. Okay. So this one is a 56 point, like so. Right, the top code is in compression. So this one here, uh, this is uh, a KJ. Okay. And then this one here, uh, the, the, the bottom code is in tension. So this one here, it is a CD. Okay, then let's assume this one to be in, uh, let's assume this one to be in compression, okay. Let's assume it is in compression. Okay, this member here, let's assume this member is in compression, like so, and this one is KD. It is going to have components, we'll indicate components later on. So then let's dimension it quickly. Uh, from there to there. There we go, there we go, there we go. And then from there to there, something like that. Okay. Right. This is a two meters, a two meters, and a two meters. This is a three meters, great. So we have summation of moments about point D. We are taking moments about point D for now. About point D equal to zero and clockwise being our reference. Uh, we have a negative moment 56.67 uh, uh, by 6 and then we have uh, plus 20 by 4 plus 30 by 2 and then we have um, plus kj by 3 equal to 0. Okay, it's quite long. 
um, therefore kj is just going to be equal to let's calculate minus 56.67 by 6 plus 20 by 4 uh, plus 30 by 2 uh, then divided by 3 divided by 3 so we have kj equal to uh, 66 66 66.67 kilonewtons and this in compression okay so kd will have two components uh, the slope we've already defined the slope so we said the slope we have the run of two the rise of three and root of 13 so using blue to indicate the direction of the components okay so one component is this one here which is kd kd by the rise which is a 3 divided by root of 13 and then we have another component like so this is kd by 2 divided by root of 13 then let's apply the summation of forces in the y direction okay we have 56.67 uh, minus 20 minus 30 uh, plus kd uh, 3 over root of 13 equal to 0 therefore kd is just going to be equal to 56.67 minus 20 minus minus uh, 30 divided by 3 divided by 3 3 root of 13 so this gives us uh, a minus 8 kilonewtons so if it's in the opposite direction it means the direction that we initially assumed is supposed to be in the opposite direction which is tension and then summation of forces in the x direction like so then we have cd okay minus um kj okay then minus kd 2 over root of 13 equal to 0 we already know some components we know what kj is kj we said is equal to 66.67 kd is equal to negative 8 we don't because we've used the same direction so this result is the one that we fit there with this sign okay cd therefore is just going to be equal to uh, minus 66.67 66, uh, minus minus which is a plus 8 times 2 divided uh, times 2 divided by root of 13 so this gives us this gives us cd equal to 62.23 kilo newtons and uh, it is in tension as already assumed all right I will not change the arrows for the other ones. We are able to see just negative for KD means opposite or opposite direction. Okay, I will leave them the way they are, else the way it gets messed up. So uh, we have uh, KJ, which is in compression, uh, KD, which is also in compression. I mean, in tension, KD. KJ is in compression, KD is in tension, CD is in tension all right i think this is really about it and i hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and liking my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh screencast